Hi friends, this is Angelica. Welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited about today's video. I have been making Christmas ornaments for the last couple months, getting ready for the holiday season. And I made a Christmas ornament with a new die from the greetery. So I want to share my process with you. The first thing that uh, we need to do is prep the DIY baubles. I did buy these at home or um, at Hobby Lobby. They're super inexpensive right now. You can get them at any box store. Um, since there's a lot of painting that's going to happen, we need to get them on a handle. So I'm using 5 8 inch dowels um, that my husband cut down and um, they are still a little small for the baubles. So I'm going to wrap painter's tape around it just to widen up the um, the dowel and give myself a nice handle to um, rest the bobble in. Now once it's on the handle I am going to use a, another piece of painter's tape. I'm going to keep that tape closest to the lip, the top lip as I can and tape that also to the handle just so I have a little bit more support. The next step is picking out primer. I'm just going to use the primer I have on my counter. This is bonding primer. I use this on glass ornaments, even though we're using plastic ornaments today. Um, this is fabulous for glass and it works great on plastic too. It is going to dry to a very smooth finish. Uh, and also I need to clean the bobbles. So I'm using some rubbing alcohol, just spray it on a little like makeup remover circle and rub that all over the bobble to make sure it's super clean. Uh, I got a little sponge and I'm just going to dab the primer all around the bobble. Um, this is pretty short. Uh, <laughs> through the magic of editing, I'm going to be able to do this really quickly. And then I have a cup of rice set off to the side, which is going to be perfect for me to set my dowel in and let the bobble dry. It takes about an hour to dry. And the last step that needs to be done before moving on to the greetery product is to add texture to the smooth surface. And we're doing that by adding ripped up napkin, uh, paper napkins. I'm gonna be using this Liquitex matte medium to apply the napkins with. I would normally use a black sponge brush for this step, but I am out, so I picked a soft paintbrush to work with. Um, you will want to make sure it's a softer brush because the napkins are going to be really delicate to work with once they get wet. I'm being really generous with the matte medium right now because this, is, this helps to get the napkins to lay down flat. You don't want to have any air bubbles. So if you see one, you can smooth it out with your finger. Um, having ridges in the napkins are fine. In fact, they're great because they're going to add more texture to the bobble. But you do want to make sure that all air bubbles are smoothed out and that the ridges are lying flat. Um, needless to say, be ready to get your fingers dirty because they're going to be one of the most used tools in this project. Now it's time for the greetery product. Um, I've die cut Nina Solar White 110 pound cardstock with the new Big Branches Rescus die, and I'm going to use the same matte medium to adhere them to the ornament. Since the branches are so thin, I will be able to manipulate their shape, and the more Liquitex that I use, the more responsive the paper will be to bending smoothly and adhering flat onto the bobble. So this does take a few minutes to do because you're going to need to be patient with the cardstock and let the liquid really soften the paper. And again, you need to be ready to use your finger to really flatten the leaves. This is where your hands are going to get really dirty. So I did pick out a really soft paintbrush um, for this um, particular part of the project because we are working with paper. I want to make sure that the paper in no way pills at all, which is why you want the paper to stay super wet at all times until, until it's completely adhered to the ball and then it's time to just let it dry. So I wet the back of the branches first and then I painted where I wanted the branches to be on the bobble and now I am painting even more adhesive onto the bobble or excuse me onto the branches and now I'm using my finger that also has um, the matte medium on it to 
rub those leaves out and start to get them to want to lie down flat. Now, this does take a couple minutes um, and it won't even be fully flat yet. I do move on to the next branch and I get that um, pretty much set up to start lying flat and I'll come back to the first branch, which has now been sitting for three or four minutes and really letting that liquid soak into the paper and now I can use my finger and really push those leaves down into the um, tissue texture and the leaves will lie down flat after this. Okay, the bubble is completely dry now and the leaves are laying flat. I made sure everything was bonded well before I let it sit and dry. Now we're gonna add a layer of paint to it to make it one neutral color. I picked sheepskin paint by Folk Art. This is their chalk line and it just dries to a beautiful ultra matte finish. Because of these next two steps that we're gonna be doing, the painting and then we're adding a wax, this is why I used the Liquitex um, matte medium instead of like a Mod Podge because Mod Podge is fabulous to use for collages and um, decoupage, but it also is a sealer. And I didn't want in any sort of way the paint and the wax to chip off. The wax that we're going to use is antique wax from Folk Art. Uh, I found this wax right next to the chalk paints in the acrylic aisle at Hobby Lobby. And this is more of a liquid. Um, we're gonna use, I'm going to use my finger to really push that wax into the texture of the napkins and emphasize the sides of the branches. I am going to cut over to the live video real quick so you can hear how it sounds and what exactly I'm doing at this moment. So when I'm doing this part, I am making sure to really use good pressure pushing that wax into the texture of the napkins and to get it in between, just to kind of get it on the sides of the, um, of the leaves to emphasize those leaves. So I'm using not like insane pressure to where I could break the ball, but I'm using a good, a good amount of pressure. And then when I wipe it with the um, damp paper towel, I'm wiping more as if I was dusting um, a lot lighter touch. I just want to get that I just want to get like most of the dark off the top layer, but I don't want to um, in any sort of way be able to pick up the, um, the wax that is down in the creases. Now I'm going to use that damp paper towel just to softly wipe off the excess wax that's on top of the leaves and sitting on top of the napkins, but it is leaving the rest of the wax behind. So it's really um, emphasizing that beautiful texture the glued on napkins give. You can, if you wipe too much off, you can go back and redo that wax area. If you want it to be even heavier with wax, you do a second layer. I mean, it's it's your creation. You do, do what you want. Um, if you even paint the, um, the base first, like I used the sheepskin with maybe like a, a gray, I made one with a gray background and it 
um, was darker. It was just, it had a completely different look to it and absolutely gorgeous. I did slow the video down to real time so you can see the last of my wiping. I'm going to do an inspection, just look the ball all over to make sure I do like how it looks before I put it aside to let it completely dry. And then I'm going to add the sealer to it. And I am going to use Mod Podge for this um, step. I am using the matte finish Mod Podge. There also is a super glossy Mod Podge available. I'm just going to use a soft brush to brush the um, steeler all around the ornament. I'm just taking my time. If I see like a big clump of the sealer, I'm just going to pick it up with my brush. And um, again, this is just a, a pretty short process. I do have it at live or at um, normal speed so you can see how delicate I was being. And now it's time to take it off the handle. It's completely dry now. And we're going to get the topper ready. Since it's super shiny, it does not match the bobble right now. This is not a needed step. So by all means, if you like the silver, use the silver. I did go to Home Depot and pick up a metal primer and a hammered color to spray paint the tops with. And that just really antiqued the tops and... Um, it, I just like the way that this turned out. So uh, I popped the top back in and uh, added a twine loop to it. And that finishes this bobble. I did make a few more. So let's look at the final pictures. This um, bobble I did seal with the Super Gloss uh, Mod Podge. So you can see that it has a nice shine to it. And then these two, the one on the left is the one that we just made. And the one on the right, I did paint gray instead of sheepskin. So you can see the different color to it. And um, this one I got a little bit heavier with the wax just to make it uh, a little bit darker. I really like how this one turned out. So tell me what you think. Leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear um, if this would be a project you would want to do. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. That's going to finish today's video. So if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe if you'd like to see more. I'm going to be back shortly with another video. So I'll see you then. Bye.